Hello everyone and welcome to John and Mandy Go RVing. Today we're going to give you guys a tour of our travel trailer, which is an Aspen Trail 2790 bunkhouse. It's a 2018 model, we've owned it for two years, and it's been holding up pretty good. So let's get to it here, we'll check out the outdoor kitchen first. It's a pretty basic, straightforward kitchen got your small fridge here which we usually keep our beer and Gatorade in and then over here we have our gas cooking range and this hooks up underneath here to the gas line you got a sink and there's the gas range two burners and then you have some room here for your condiments there's an outlet here with uh, two plugs Pretty straightforward basic kitchen. We don't really use the outdoor kitchen too much. We tend to use the one inside more often, so but we use it a lot for our drinks definitely. So up front here we have our basement. And it opens up on both sides. On this side we keep our stuff that we usually put out underneath the awning. We got our water hose here for our clean water. We got our chairs in here, that kind of stuff. And then on the other side of the basement, we keep our sewer stuff. Two tanks. And here we keep our sewer stuff. We keep it in a container here. And we got our sidewinder, extra hoses for when we gotta flush out the tanks and such. And then we have one of the bigger slides that has the dinette and the couch in it. So on the back here, we have our city water hookup, which we use 90% of the time. And we also have our outdoor shower. And it came with a spare tire, which is good to have. And then on the outside, yeah, we have our hot water heater right here. We have outlets here up front. This is our fresh water connection for when we're boondocking, which we haven't done yet. I plan on doing that hopefully over the next year. And we have outdoor speakers as well. Now we'll move inside. So for the inside, we're going to start in the bedroom. This is at the front of the trailer. We have a regular size, queen size bed, not a short one that you get in a lot of trailers. We have two closets on either side of the bed, about a foot apart, so not a ton of space in there. But um, for the trips we've done, this has worked out pretty well for us. We do have side tables with uh, outlets on them, so that's that's um, pretty good for us. Uh, we really wanted the side tables to be able to put things on. And I think for us, the most important thing with the trailer was to be able to walk around the bed. A lot of trailers, you don't have that option. You have to kind of jump into the bed. This one, we have full space around the bed to be able to walk, which was important for us. So then this is our little tiny kitchen, um, very small, but it's worked, worked out pretty well for us. Um, one thing that we did like is the overlay over here on the sink, because this can double for a cutting board for us and kind of extend the work area that we have. And when we use it, we really just kind of put it back there so that we have, whoops, so that we have the uh, room to use the sink. And uh, sinks very large, one big pile. I know some people like the divided sinks, but we just like one big. Um, it's big enough for pots and pans. And that's a good consideration when you're talking about a trailer, how you're gonna do the dishes and things. And then we have um, garbage canned underneath, some cleaners, things like that. Our water heater's back there, so we can't go too deep with the things. Uh, really like the spice rack here. Uh, this is very convenient. And then we do have a decent amount of uh, drawers for you know silverware and linens and things. Uh, really, this is our junk drawer in the trailer, like you always have to have. 
Uh, three burner stove, uh, propane obviously, and a little tiny stove. We have used this quite a bit. Some people don't use their stoves, but we've used it. You just have to be careful what you can get into it. And then the upper cabinets, there's really just two cabinets, one large one here for dishes, cups, everyday uh, kind of items. And then this one has our pots and pans in it. And then we have a regular microwave, not a convention oven, just a regular microwave. And this little space up here is really good for um, bread products and things like that, um, where we don't want to put things in the pantry. And then we just have a smaller size fridge. So then right across from the kitchen is our dinette. We absolutely love the U-shaped dinette. It gives us a lot of room around it. And there's storage underneath the cushions, but this also can convert down into a bed. And we've used that, what, once, I think, so far? Yeah. Um, and it's worked out pretty well. And then next to the fridge is the uh, living room entertainment center. So a uh, decent sized TV that we could get here did not come with it. We had to buy our own. Uh, and the radio. And we also have got some storage down there for some movies and things to take on the road. Uh, and again, this little, just a little nook has helped out. That's where usually we throw um, paperwork from the campground, things like that, uh, into here. So that's been helpful. And then we do have a bunk area. We do not have children. So this is actually uh, somewhat not useful for us unless we have guests over. Uh, top bunk usually becomes storage. Um, bottom bunk's actually usually where we put our laundry, but for now, um, other than the cats using it, nobody really uses this very often. Yes, that's Orton's bed. Yes, this is Orton's bedroom right here. So one other thing we wanted to talk about was, um, since we do have Orton along every once in a while and we're hoping to get the other cats involved, we needed a place for the litter box that wasn't in our way. So John installed the cat door down here, and as you can see, this lifts up. And it's a really nice place to have the cat litter box. They can get in there, they have privacy, and we're not tripping over it. Um, so it's been very convenient for us. And it helps contain the smell some too. And the litter. So behind the entertainment center is our closet slash pantry. I'm gonna open it and let John kind of get in there and uh, show you what it looks like. Uh, for us, this was a selling point of this particular uh, trailer because this closet makes it so much easier for us. All the pantry room that we need, plus we can store our cleaning supplies and extras that uh, we absolutely need to have in the trailer. We have a nice, neat place to put it. So this has been a really nice feature for us. So when you walk into the trailer, you have your control center right by the door. You have your meters here for your battery, your fresh water tank, your black water tank, and your two gray tanks. We have one in the front and one in the back for gray tanks. Then you have your water heater for electric and gas and your water pump switches, your exterior and interior lights, your awning extension and return, and you also have your slide right here. Then there's two options here for other switches. And then what we did was we put a couple hooks here to hang our keys. Then here we have our bathroom, has a skylight, nice tub set up for the shower. The only complaint I have is that the tub part is a good almost a foot higher than the actual ground that you're stepping from so you have to be careful stepping out of the shower when you're done with your shower. And then you have a vanity. You have some hooks. We put up some extra hooks. Small counter, small sink, but that's fine. Little storage underneath. And then this is our toilet area. So yes, it's a little tight in here, and again, this is not the easiest to step down from. So above the couch, we have a cabinet area where we like to keep our games and our towels and stuff like that for the bathroom because we don't have a lot of room in a bathroom to be storing our towels unless we're using it. Then below that, our couch is a jackknife, so it does open up into a bed. And then underneath that, there's also space for more storage. And this model has one air conditioned unit, which is good enough for now, but when we want to go full time, we're definitely going to upgrade to another trailer or class A or class B or C, whatever, that would have two air conditioned units in it at least. 
Well, that's it. We hope you enjoyed the tour of our little home away from home. And we plan on having this for another good year or so, but then we plan on getting into like a Class A or a Class C. Yeah, we're uh, hoping a drivable RV may be a little easier with the cats. Yeah, so if you guys have any suggestions, please leave them down in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification bell. That way you can get notifications when we release future content. Thanks so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for joining us today. And we'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. Take care. And action. Well, that's it. We hope you enjoyed the tour of our little home away from home. Hold on, my mouth was still hanging open when I said, an action. Okay. Well, that's it. We hope you enjoyed the tour of our little home away from home. Yes, and hopefully here in the next year or so, we'll... I couldn't get my words out. <laughs> well, that's it. We hope you enjoyed our tour of our little home away from home. Yes, we hope you enjoyed it. And also, we're probably looking into uh, going poop. <laughs> <laughs>